Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today we're taking a look at the iOS 7 beta, and we're going to go pretty speculative here and talk about two things that are laying the groundwork, possibly for a larger screen on an iPhone. Potentially the iPhone 6 is something we've heard could feature a larger screen. And there's two main features. The first we'll see here on the lock screen, but it carries out throughout the entire OS. We can see there's no more slide to unlock bar at the bottom so we can actually slide anywhere. And now where this is important is if you have a bigger phone, sometimes it's harder to reach the corners. And that's one of the reasons that Apple gave for limiting the size to four inches when they upgraded to the iPhone 5. <clears throat> now here I can swipe down for my notification center. I can swipe up for the control panel and I can swipe over to unlock. Now the camera icon is still way down here in the corner which makes it a reach and that would be a reach on a larger screen but again these are things that are maybe frameworks or a hint of things to come these carry over into say messages so if I'm in messages I can hop into a conversation when I want to go back instead of having to reach up to messages or something like that I can swipe back and that also arrives over here in settings <clears throat> all throughout here so if I hop into general and then accessibility when I'm in here I could go up here and hit general but I can just swipe back over so it lets me control the iPhone with one hand control more things without reaching for corners uh, and that's the same no matter which hand you're using so here the it's a, a bigger difference because here even depending how you hold your iPhone it could be a problem to hit your corners but you can always get to the center and swipe so that's one example another thing is we're seeing again this is in Safari that we can do this swipe as well to go back and in Safari we're seeing better landscape support more visible on the screen at one time and we also get to start seeing where some features that we haven't seen in landscape come to landscape now personally when I use a larger phone like a Galaxy Note 2 or a Galaxy S4 I spend more time in landscape because sometimes you do want two hands and if you're going to use the screen here a lot of times it makes more sense to jump into landscape so here we can double tap and while the apps like settings and messages are still sideways here we do get multitasking support in landscape mode previously it would just pop up over here so that's one new feature if we head back in here we can pull up the control center which actually looks more suited for landscape mode than it does for portrait mode and here we have access to a bunch of different settings on the iPhone so again this is the iOS 7 beta and these are a few hints of possibly a direction that Apple could go. Tim Cook has stated that they're open to new screen sizes and new resolutions when the technology catches up to their demands. So it's possible that that combined with hints from supply chain and analyst sources, we could see a larger screen on an iPhone 6. Again, very speculative, but we wanted to show you some thoughts that we were having after spending a few days with the iOS 7 beta. Head over to GottaBeMobile.com for more.